Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, connect your Cisco Security Device Manager via GNS3. Um, so for the first thing, what we want to do is we want to install the Cisco Security Device Manager. So just go ahead and uh, what you want to do is browse to where your Security Device Manager is located. Uh, this version is uh, that I'm running here is SDM version 2.5. Just click on the setup uh, icon on the SDM, click next, accept, and this is where you want to install the security device manager. You can either install it on your computer, on the Cisco router's flash memory, or you can install it on both. Um, I don't want to use any of the router's flash memory for this, so I'm just going to install it on this computer. So go ahead and select that and click next. Uh, I'm going to leave it at the destination, uh, which is under the C drive. You can put it wherever you want, uh, and I'm just going to install it now. Uh, the Cisco Security Device Manager is used um, as like a, a, a GUI for um, your Cisco router. It's a very powerful tool. It will allow you to do a lot of tasks. Uh, easily um, if you don't have a lot of experience with the command line interface. Um, you can do all kinds of, there's all kinds of wizards and stuff inside of there that make, you know, setting up a lot of uh, complex things easy like, you know, setting up uh, site-to-site -site VPNs. Uh, there's also, you know, you can do all your quality of service. Um, all kinds of stuff. So, um, what we're going to do now is that we have the STM installed on the computer, we're going to go ahead and um, install the Microsoft uh, Loopback Adapter Interface. Now, what this interface allows us to do, the Loopback Adapter Interface allows us to connect via this computer into the virtual program, into the actual router, into the you know in the program, and I'll show you how to install that interface. You just want to go to your um, control panel and click on Add Hardware. Click Next. It's going to try to find new hardware, but there is none that I put on it yet. Have you already connected this hardware to your computer? We're going to select uh, yes and click next. We're going to scroll all the way down here um, under the installed hardware. We're just going to go to add a new hardware device at the very bottom and click next. Uh, what would you want the wizard to do? What we want to do is install the hardware that we have manually that we will manually select from a list. So select that and then hit next and Again, it's a Microsoft Loopback uh, adapter interface used for networking. We're going to select Network Adapters, click Next. Okay, now we want to select under Manufacturer, Microsoft, and then Microsoft Loopback Adapter from the Network Adapter. Then click Next. And then Next again to install. And it's just that simple. We have, once you have it installed, and it says that it has installed it, go ahead and click Finish. Then what you want to do is go under your Network Places, right-click, and go to Properties. And you'll see your new uh, Loopback Adapter Interface. Uh, don't worry about all this stuff here. I've got a lot of other stuff on here, Loopback Adapters. i got about four of them. Uh, we're just going to use the first one here and what we need to do now is go into GNS3 and create our design our network and I'll show you how to do that and then we'll come back here and configure our loopback adapter interface so leave that open let's go under GNS3 and what I'm going to do is just drag and drop a router over here Uh, what you got to remember too with the Cisco Security Device Manager is uh, the different iOS image types 
uh, will determine what iOS uh, you know feature sets uh, you will be supported in the SDM. Like some of the iOS feature sets support you know uh, advanced security, like you know uh, VPNs, and some don't. So you just got to go to Cisco's webpage and find out whatever you're trying to do. You know, uh, you just need to find a compatible iOS image that will do that for you. And I'll show you more about that later when we get into the security device manager. So we have the router here. Now we want to go ahead and add a note by just clicking on the notepad. We want to put in here just our, uh, we're just going to put our subnet here that we're going to use. And what we need to do is select a switch to connect to from our router the switch and then the other side of the switch we're going to have the cloud which is going to uh, simulate you know our computer connection into this virtual into the GNS3 program so what we want to do now is go under our router zero, right click, configure, router zero, go under slots, and here I'm just going to put in a fast ethernet interface in slot zero. And then left click on the add a link and go to fast ethernet and then just create the link, left click on router zero, then left click on switch zero to create the link, and then left click on the X to get rid of the, that link. Now what we want to do is maybe we can add a node in here. Usually it's going to be the dot one on this submit. Now I'm going to add the cloud. It's very simple. All you do is just click on it, drag it over, and now we got to tell the cloud what to look for. So we're going to right click on it configure, click on cloud zero, and right here you'll see where it says here, this is what we're going to add, network adapter, Microsoft loopback, Microsoft loopback driver, loopback adapter, right, go ahead and click add, and you'll see it populated down here, now you want to Click apply, and then that's it. Now we have our loopback adapter interface that is in here. Now all we need to do is connect the switch using the fast Ethernet. Just click on the switch, and then we want to click on the cloud, and we're going to just use that loopback adapter interface we just added to the cloud. We're going to click on that. You should see green connection. So we're good. Okay, now what I want to do is go into the router and set up this. Because if you look here at the topology summary, this shows us that router 0's fast ethernet 00 is connected to the switch. So that's the interface we're going to have to um, admin up and put you know, and uh, apply the correct IP address to so we can connect.